Hello, Yabaflix, Cam Bryson here, and I'm going to talk about Scream 5. Um, and yes, I was a huge fan of the Scream TV show on MTV. I was a huge fan of that. Up until the second season, I thought the first two seasons of that was really good on MTV. The VH1 season, the VH1 version was okay. But the Scream movies, I've always, I don't know, I like, I really like the first Scream. The first two Scream movies from Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson. I don't think Kevin Williamson did the second one. I'm not sure. But I know he did, like, the first. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait I'm wrong. He did do the first two. He just didn't do the third one. But, um, Ke um, but yeah, I like the first two movies. Didn't like Scream three and four. Scream three, I was, n I didn't, re I really didn't like. But I lo loved the first one. Liked the second one. And I also liked Scary Movie. So that was another thing that I really liked. But Scream five. Um, when I heard the news of Scream five, when uh, when I heard the news that Spyglass Media were rebooting it, um. I was I was really happy, and I also um read the people who were behind it, and the people behind it also did one of my favorite movies from last year, and that was Ready or Not, which I absolutely loved, um from Searchlight Pictures and um Radio Silence, like those, like I I think Scream Five will probably be an awesome movie under them. I don't know if it's going to be like a ready or not Scream 5. That would be pretty cool if they made it similar to that movie. But yeah, Scream 5. Um, when I heard the news of that, I was really happy. Especially the people behind it. Um, they got in it. They got some of the cast members back. They got Corny Cox back. They've Arquette they've are back. They're probably going to announce... Nev Campbell. I think Nev Campbell is definitely coming back. She'll probably be the last one to come back. But yeah, um, this is cool news. I really don't know what to say on screen five because I like the first two. I really like the first two movies. Even the MTV show, the show that was on MTV and VH1 that aired from 2015 up until 20, 2019, I still liked, um, so yeah, I, 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 I like the Scream films, and the, some of the Scream movies, and even the, the Scream TV show on MTV and VH1 was fine, but yeah, Scream 5, I, I didn't even know this was gonna be Scream 5, I thought, when Spyglass were going to bring it back, I thought it was going to be like a remake. Not like a straight up remake. It's It was still going to have Scream in the name. They're just going to like reboot it. Kind of like what they did with Scream Resurrection. I thought Scream Resurrection was okay. I thought it got better after episode three. I thought the first two episodes of Resurrection was really bad. But it got better after those first two episodes. Though... But, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, I thought it was going to be a remake, and then when I heard the cast members coming back, and even Nev Campbell interview saying it was going to respect Wes Craven, I was like, wait, they're doing a Scream 5, and I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, Scream 5 will be produced by Spyglass, Spyglass Media Group. Because Spyglass Media Group, the thing about Spyglass, they currently own the rights to the Weinstein movies. Um, they own the rights to most of them. Like, like movies like Spy Kids and the, the some of the Tarantino movies. I think the Tarantino films, they got full ownership of due to a settlement with um, Tarantino, they got, like, full ownership on that, but, um, Spy Kids, the first Paddington, not Paddington 2, Paddington 2 is owned by Warner Brothers, the first Paddington 
that's owned by Lantern and Spyglass. Spyglass and Lantern Entertainment owns that first movie. They they have distribution over it. But yeah, Scream was one of those franchises, along with Hellraiser, which they're going to lose the rights to. And um, Spy Kids were the franchises that they own. And Lanson Entertainment, when they bought that co- that library, they did want to ex- they do want to exploit those movies. They don't want to exploit it as much. They do want to do newer movies. They do want to do newer product, new movies and shows, along with exploiting some of their titles. But um, but yeah, but yeah, Scream Five. I am excited for this. I I am rewatching the first Scream. I'm s- still rewatching the first Scream. I'm actually um I think later today I'm gonna marathon all the Scream movies. I don't know about Scream Four because I, I don't think that's on streaming. But I could watch the first three Screams on CBS All Access because they're they could watch them on CBS All Access. You could watch the first three Screams. But the thing about Scream is the rights. Originally, the rights were from Harvey Weinstein. They moved over to Spyglass. Scream 5 is going to be also co-distributed by Paramount Pictures. Paramount, if you... I don't know if a lot of people know this, but Miramax, the people who have the rights to the first three Scream movies, they are currently owned by Viacom CBS. Um, Paramount has the distribution of those, they, not distribution, but I'll say rights, they have the rights to the first three screen movies. So when I heard the news that Paramount was distributing this movie, I was like, okay, so Miramax is kind of going to be involved. Yeah, it's Paramount, but Paramount owns Miramax, the Weinstein Company owns the Weinstein Company is owned by Spyglass, so Paramount and Spyglass will make sense. And they also announced that um, Roger L. Jackson is coming back. Roger L. Jackson, he was the original voice of Ghostface, and he did like a cameo thing, and it was awesome. Ghostface, so Roger L. Jackson's gonna come back. I'm just waiting until Spyglass makes an announcement that like, Hey, hey, we're going to reboot Spy Kids. I'm just waiting for that announcement. I think they will make that announcement. Because first, Spyglass Media Group announces that they're going to reboot Scream, Scream 5. Which, they're going to bring back all the original cast members. I don't know if it's going to be a sequel to Scream 4. That'd be cool if it was a sequel to Scream 4. Because that'll be continuing the story, but also rebooting it at the same time. Um, but yeah, Scream, a franchise that I did grow grow up with, did grow up with, is coming back. I'm just wondering, like, are they are they gonna? Have, I'm just wondering, like, who the new cast members are gonna be? Because I they're bringing back the old cast members, and they're also gonna have new characters. So, yeah, and they also got Kevin Williamson back. They got the Ready or Not people doing it as well. So, I'm I'm excited for this new version of Scream. They're, they're, Scream 5 is going to be filmed. I, I don't know if they could film. They might delay it. They might delay it because of what's happening in the world right now. But, when, but if they do film in the fall... That'd be that'd be really cool though, cause this is this is gonna be Spyglass's first movie, first film, and yes, Spyglass they are gonna distribute the movie internationally, while Paramount is going to distribute the movie in the U- U.S. and Canada. And I think they're distributing it worldwide on, like, other platforms, I think. So, yeah. So, like, Spyglass, they're announcing some, like, movies. Like, first it was Scream. 
Actually, no. First it was Hellraiser. Then it was Scream 5. And then they then they're like saying like, now they're gonna reboot Knight Rider, which I didn't even know they had the rights to that. The because I know I know the TV rights for Knight Rider is owned by Universal. The film rights we know we already know who had the rights originally and it was transferred to Spyglass. But yeah, Scream Five. Um, this video probably went too long, but I'm like, Scream 5 is coming, Scream is coming back. If, if they, if they bring back Scream 5, if they bring back Scream 5, they better reboot. You know what they should do? If Scream 5 was popular, they should reboot Scary Movie. Like, no, I don't want to see a Scary Movie 6, but I would love to see a remake of Scary Movie. That's one franchise we need. They need to bring back. I know a lot of people are saying no, no, we don't want scary movie to come back. No, we need that to come back. We need scary movie to come back. I need it to come back, and I also want to see um, Spyglass remaking some movies, R remaking some of my favorites though. Spy Kids, Spy Kids gonna be next. Spy Kids Mission Critical. They they did two seasons two seasons for that. They could do a Spy Kids reboot. I don't know if it's gonna be a sequel or not. They they it'll be fine if they just reboot it. All but like with Carmen and Juni, but that'll be cool. But yeah, Scream Five is coming back. See ya and bye. And I'm waiting for Scary Movie, so hashtag bring back Scary Movie.